Before we even get into the educational smoke, I would like to point out that everything that I'm gonna talk about in this video works on every MPC the exact same way, 3.0, and the MPC that I'm using in this video is the MPC XSC because it has the biggest screen, and hey, I need to enjoy it more. Also, we have master classes at 16levels.com. I have it linked in the description box. I would appreciate it if you support us over there. At 16 levels, I have master classes for all the NPCs except for the key 61. Well, unless it's, we're talking about 3.0. I do have 2.0 uh, for the NPC key 61. I just do not own it anymore. That's the only reason why I haven't updated. But ladies and gents, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the educational smoke. I did this video the other day. It's called, This NPC Plugin Will Change Your Beat Making Forever. And the person left this comment right here. It reads, can we get a visual EQ already? I'm not tripping. I just noticed there's this energy of moving the goalpost. <laughs> like people love moving the goalpost. I, I remember uh, like it was yesterday, it wasn't too long ago, where people wanted certain features from the Kai Force into the MPC and that was gonna make them love the MPC more and then more complaining came about. That's how I'm looking at this comment. Since this person is a subscriber on my channel, and yes, any content creator can see if you're subscribed to the channel or not. So if you come in randomly with the smoke, you can see people's comment history. And you know, he said some things in the past, controversial or not, nah, but he still watches, and I, I appreciate it. My question to you guys, do you want a visual EQ inside of the MPC? Will that make your beats sound better? Is that the, <laughs> the solution to your beats not sounding real or whatever i'm just goes <laughs> i'm trying not to be silly but i apologize the only thing is what he said was very vague you know because he said visual eq what does that mean because it could be a graphics eq it could mean a parametric eq and as you can see parametric eqs look all kinds of ways that person could want a passive eq however when i type in visual eq about the same things pop up as for a parametric EQ. So I'm assuming that this person means a parametric EQ. A few years ago, we had a discussion with Andy Mack on my IG channel. I used to do interviews and stuff like that, but the question of visual EQ was popped up then. So he's definitely heard it, he responded, and he said, yes, he agrees. My question to my audience, uh, did you already know that the MPC has EQs inside of it? The MPC, no matter if you're in 2.0 or 3.0, has plenty of EQs. So if we touch this right here, it gives us access to the track effects rack and the master effects rack. You will have to go to the effects tab in 3.0, and that's all that matters right now. We're talking about 3.0. So we hit the plus sign right over here, and then that gives you all your available effects. You will see EQ filter right here. You have Kill EQ, which looks like this, and it gives you three bands to work with. Uh, you can do kills, it will kill the audio of that particular sound. Also, if you wanna delete the effect, boom, you just hit the trash can icon. The next one, air parametric EQ. And we have high, high mid, low mid, low. We have parametric EQ, two bands, two shells. The next one after that, the parametric EQ with four bands. And it looks like this. You, you know what the funny thing is about this? You know, in that particular video, it was low fly dirt. Guess what? They have a visual EQ too. It's called multi-band filter bank. And believe it or not, they gave it away for free during the holiday season. It works on Windows, Mac, and yes, the MPC itself. For those who are familiar with something like Maximus inside of FL Studio, which can be used as a multi-band filter and compressor, it shares a lot of resemblance and functionality exactly like this, if not improved in some aspects. Remember, this is a pay for plugin, so before you even get to use it, you will have to go in the menu, preferences, activation, make sure that you have logged in, and then, put in a serial number. Also, it will help if people will put in their Wi-Fi, okay? So make sure that you put your Wi-Fi in, okay? Other than that, hit the plus sign on your track effects or the master, wherever you wanna put it. After you 
have done that, you will see Air Multiband Filter Bank. And guess what? The thing about this is it is a visual EQ, but with a whole lot more benefits. And I already know where the goalpost is gonna be moved next. They're like, oh, well, it says multi-band filter bank. That doesn't mean graphic EQ or anything like that. Let, 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 me, let me just put you on to something real quick. Hold on, let me go ahead and go down. Let's focus right here. We're gonna use air kill EQ. It's gonna filter out certain frequencies. So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna turn off low. See how that's filtered out. This is the EQ. That's what EQs do, they filter. Maybe I should explain that first. And if I kill all of the bands that are available in Air Kill EQ, I have filtered out all of the sound. Now you can play with that any way that you want. This EQ is useful for sampling, very useful. To further prove the point that it's a visual EQ, one of which you can judge all the frequencies in a visual form and acting like a spectral analyzer. I will put this on the master track. I'll put it after that at filter bank in there, multiband filter bank. We'll open it up, play the track. And as you can see, you can visually understand what you are mixing. You can select multiple bands. If I wanted to sweep the, the high band frequency, I can sweep it right here on the screen. Of course, I can use the data wheel. Let's get a little bit more volume. So that's just a high band. I'm using cutoff right there. If I wanted to call the mids, I could do that. Of course, I am going through the presets, and I think we should go through the presets. Like I was saying earlier, how you would control this thing is simply this. Now, I don't necessarily use it on the master, but I can go ahead and just delete it and we'll go right into these drums right over here. They're also made by MXX Audio in this track, so. What we're gonna do is mess with this snare right here. Uh, we don't have to go into track effects or anything like that because we wanna manipulate that sound. We're gonna use multiband on that, so double tap on the screen. Go to the effects tab right here. You see we have some effect right now. It, it will be duly noted if you would check that effect out because of how that snare sounds. We'll then just add a multiband filter bank right here. So we have multiband filter bank inside of here. We see how the snare looks like, right? What we're gonna do is manipulate it in real time. Maybe I wanna cut off the, the frequency here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and mute. Then we'll go back into that effect. That way we can just hear the drums. Maybe that snare could use some, some high cutoff. Add some resonance to it. Different, different kind of snare now. Let me turn it off so you can hear it, compare it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. And then we can change the mid band frequency and look at the visual cue of it. Add some resonance. You can add drive, which will Distort it. You can change the level of it if it gets too loud for you. You can also change the filter type. It could be a bandpass, notch, peak, 
High pass. I like peak. And then you get, once you drive it, remember you're driving that frequency. Another cool thing about multiband filter bank is this. You can move bands to be in certain positions. So you can have more frequencies in one area than the other. For example, right now, I'm sweeping that filter right here. You can also turn that band off too. So if I wanted less mid, more highs, you can have that. Matter of fact, what I'll do is solo again, because we need to see more of that. And you can also solo. I'm gonna turn the low band back on. If I can do it on the screen, there we go. You can solo. Let's turn it up so you can hear it. So maybe you just want the mids. You want to focus on the mid, right? I'm sure, I can relate to focusing on your mid. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so I'm I'm soloing, and maybe I just want that to be the body. Just simply simple as that. Just go to the mid bank right here. You can just go to your tabs. Simple. You can add modulation too. And you can hear what the modulation is doing. It's going from left to right. I'm going to set it to right to left. I mean to left to right instead of right to left. And then we can add everything back in. I, I think I should turn the high band off, if anything. Uh, just to be clear, again, this is not a disc video. This is just about talking about the tools that you have available to you inside of the MPC. You know, because we talk about MPC stuff and they, they give some common knowledge uh, to the, the group of people out there that, you know, may need that kind of knowledge. It isn't about disrespecting someone or being the, <laughs> the well actually type guy. I'm not trying to be the well actually type guy. And of course, you know, support our peoples. And that's just, I'm just showing y'all, I pay attention to the comment section sometimes and y'all give us, give me great content ideas. So appreciate that. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day.